The amendments were later read out, but government's numerical advantage saw each amendment being voted down. On that basis, the bill was passed as is. The Caribbean Court of Justice will on Thursday hear oral arguments on the final appeal of four transgender persons who are challenging the 1893 Summary Jurisdiction Offenses Act that deals with matters against religion, morality, and public convenience, which makes it an offense for a man in any public way or public place for any improper purpose to appear in female attire, or for a woman in any public way or public place for any improper purpose to appear in male attire. The judges will question attorneys representing their clients to seek clarifications. The litigants Quincy Gulliver McCune, Sion Angel Clark, Joseph Fraser alias Peaches, and Sion Pesat called Isabella are fighting the British colonial era law because they were detained, convicted, and fined by the then acting chief magistrate after their February 2009 arrest in Georgetown. Joel Simpson, head of activist group Sassad, which is behind the legal challenge, is in Trinidad where the case is being heard. He feels that judges at the CCG represent high judicial intellect. So you have the best of Caribbean jurists who are able to appreciate and interrogate um, the level of arguments um, that we are presenting in the case. He tells the Evening News that he's quite confident that the trans group will come out victorious as the Caribbean court is not in a bubble and is learning from what he called more progressive societies. They're not afraid to make uh, bold decisions. They're not afraid to overturn decisions um, made by local judges from local courts, as we have seen. So we are extremely confident and we're fortunate that uh, many years ago, Guyana has made the Caribbean Court of Justice uh, the final court of appeal for Guyana. Former Acting Chief Justice Ian Chang in September 2013 ruled that cross-dressing per se is not a crime unless done for an improper purpose, but the case was dismissed by Guyana's appeal court last February. The litigants are also fighting against the then acting chief magistrate's conduct when she told the individual appellants that they were confused about their sexuality and should follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, comments which they claim are inconsistent with our constitution. Nevertheless, many religious groups argue that the laws should remain intact, while LBGT groups are ramping up pressure on government to amend related laws that criminalize their behavior. Samuel Fanfare, The Evening News.